Thank you very much for the wonderful honor that you are bestowing upon me, students of La Salle. Thank you so much, Jillian and Sophie, for the wonderful introduction. Again, thank you very much for choosing me to speak before you. I am an Athenian, but nevertheless, I do believe that all students in the Philippines should unite and represent the country to be a very inspiring community of learners. To the wonderful women, gentlemen, and non-binary people of La Salle, mabuhay. I am Mela Habijan, Miss France Global 2020, a Filipino and a proud transgender woman. Nowadays, in this day and age called 2021, trans or transgender has become a big buzzword. With trans revolution becoming a stronger movement in the Philippines, we trans people have started to regain the dignity we have lost. However, as we are just educating ourselves with trans as a gender identity through SOGSC or sexual orientation, gender identity, expression, and sex characteristics education, quite a number of Filipinos are still looking at us differently. Because to them, we trans people are insanely different. Name the insult. We've received it. In fact, when I won Miss Trans Global last year and made it to the headlines, instead of celebrating the victory, some Filipinos took it as an opportunity to attack me, to ridicule me, to make fun of me. Sadly, I was seen less than my achievement because I'm trans. You see, it's so hard to be different in a world that sees difference as an obstruction to the so-called norm. There are trans people who have been forced to choose between finishing school and being themselves because of the unjust uniform policy. A lot of us are hindered to earn a college degree as if the way we express and live our lives affect our capacity to learn. There have been instances that we trans women are barred to come to our graduation ceremonies if we come to the event in dresses. If we did not bring this to the media, we would not have our right to claim our hard-earned diploma. Moreover, a lot of companies wouldn't hire us because according to their standards, we do not look professional. Underscoring on the way we look discrediting our skills and capabilities to perform work. Recently, a South Korean transistor ended her life after being forcibly discharged from the military because she underwent a gender-affirming surgery. All she wanted was to serve Korea as a soldier but their Ministry of Defense said, because of the surgery, she became physically and mentally handicapped. And the resolution of the case of Jennifer Laude is a testament as to how trans lives are not just undervalued, but really regarded with no value. It is heartbreaking that as trans, as LGBTQIA, the world says, you chose that. 
suffer the consequences. It is heartbreaking that we can never be true to ourselves. And even our dreams can never come true. And with every single no, denial, disrespect, and discrimination that we get from the world, this has pushed so many people in my community to hide in the closet and live in fear. I myself was one of them. I feared for my future. I feared that the world would constantly reject me for just simply being me, simply living my truth. Then I met a wonderful woman named Mulan, my favorite Disney princess. She taught me the value of owning my own reflection by questioning, why must we all conceal what we think, how we feel? Must there be a secret me I'm forced to hide? I won't pretend that I'm someone else for all time. When will my reflection show who I am inside? Reflection has become the song of my life from which I had learned that yes, Mela, the world will reject you and will say no to you several times over. But you, you have the power to reverse the narrative. How? By owning yourself, by saying yes to you, by saying yes to your being different. That's the time when I saw power in my being trans. My identity makes me different, yes, because it is what makes me special. Then it allowed me to redirect my life and push myself to be more. Now, at 33, I'm seeing myself wearing a lot of hats, some of which I dreamt of, and some I surprisingly became. I'm a script writer, an actress for TV and digital series, a mentor for aspiring writers, a motivational speaker, a talk show host, a content creator, a peanut butter maker, an LGBTQI advocate, and a beauty queen. And I'm very proud of the woman that I have become. And there are other trans women like me whom the world said no to, but decided to say yes to themselves and moved forward with courage. There's Carmen Carrera, a RuPaul's Drag Race contestant before, the woman who got rejected by Victoria's Secret, but translated her journey into focusing on her health, fitness, wellness. And then eventually, she became the face of Equinox. There's Angela Ponce, owning her Miss Universe moment, saying she didn't need to win. All she needed was to be there on the same stage with other women celebrating womanhood. There's Laverne Cox, MJ Rodriguez, Dominique Jackson, and India Moore, the women of posts, all shining in Hollywood. 
there's Sarah McBride, Stephanie Byers, and Geraldine Roman, breaking barriers in politics. And there's actress Rain Valdez, filmmaker Isabel Sandoval, and supermodel Gina Rosero, all trans Filipinas making a difference and waving, proudly waving, the trans Pinay flag across the globe. We've transformed our lives the moment we said yes to our being as trans. And definitely, this has given us a valuable currency to our identity and dignity. That we are all superheroes, meant to transcend traditions and translate wisdom. And to you who's listening right now, by saying yes to yourself, you can be more too. You who have been belittled, outcasted, and underestimated for being a woman, for being LGBTQIA, for being dark-skinned, for being old, for having a disability, for being fat, for your beliefs, for being a weird nerd, for not being cool, for not being good enough, and for not subscribing to the so-called norms. Saying yes to our being different is a revolution, a statement that no matter how the world sees us, being different is a gift. We are talented, unique, and fearless. We can shine, we can soar, we can create, we can change, we can be independent, we can be of influence, we can be. More importantly, saying yes to ourselves is a strong cultural response against oppression, racism, sexism, misogyny, bigotry, white supremacy, and patriarchy. Above all, saying yes to ourselves is hope. It is our saving grace, our light, and our rainbow. So, even if this patriarchal world says no to us, it's not the end of the road because we can always say yes to ourselves. Let's own our being different. After all, conformity is boring. All of us are beautifully, uniquely, and diversely created just the way we are. And that yes that we will give ourselves is the ultimate yes that we all deserve. Say yes to yourself because you will be and you're always worth it. Thank you very much. Mabuhay. Ako po si Nella. Mahirap ang laban. Pero sa buhay, lagi tayong may laban. Thank you very much for listening to my TED Talk.